uh, Dr. RJB here, and uh, for this lecture, I'm going to talk about gluten. Um, now, there are plenty of people who have problems with gluten. Um, the thing about gluten, gluten is a huge protein, um, and it's not so easy for us to, to uh, digest. And that's why people will sometimes get gas problems, or even some people, it's more severe, where they even get diarrhea problems from gluten. If you're allergic to gluten, um, and you, let's say you have a piece of bread, um, you're, you're going to probably be in the bathroom within about uh, 30 minutes with uh, terrible diarrhea. Um, those people who are allergic to gluten, um, uh, their um, uh, uh, situation is the gluten causes an inflammatory response, and basically uh, the whole bowel becomes inflamed, and um, Everything comes out. Um, now, um, uh, we can actually uh, uh, test uh, to see if people have the antibodies uh, to gluten. Um, and if you uh, contain these uh, antibodies in your system, we know that you're going to be allergic to gluten. Um, and then, of course, uh, um, when they uh, get a look at the bowel during a colonoscopy, they can also see the damage to the bowel from the gluten. So they can tell this person uh, that you are gluten intolerant and you cannot take any more gluten anymore. You have to be on a gluten-free diet. Now, I mentioned uh, intolerance. Uh, some people, it's not an actual allergic reaction, but just a, um, a discomfort from eating gluten um, uh, where uh, they might, like I said, uh, get a little bit of gas, maybe a little bit of a stomach problem, but nothing severe. Now. Um, uh, I have gluten intolerance problems. I can eat a sandwich. I don't have a problem with that. I can eat some um, wheat uh, crackers. I don't have a problem with that. But if I eat large quantities of gluten, I get trouble. So um, let's just say I went to the bread store. Um, and I've done this, so I'm not proud. Um, I'll go to the bread store um, and get some fresh bread. Um, and um, instead of bringing it home, I'm eating it in the parking lot because the fresh bread tastes so good. Well, what's going to wind up happening is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wind up with, uh, you know, some, uh, some stomach problems uh, after I do that because that amount of gluten is just way too much for me. Or um, I'm a, an Italian man and I love my pasta like every other Italian man. And... Uh, the problem is if I eat too much pasta, um, I'm going to have some stomach troubles. So um, uh, large amounts of gluten for me are, are a problem. Um, now, the reason that gluten is such an, uh, a problem, I can mention it's a, a large uh, protein, which is tough to digest. Most of the time when we eat protein, like say we eat beef, it's broken down into something called amino acids, which are individual molecules. Um, a lot of the foods that we eat are like chains. So a carbohydrate is a chain of glucose. Uh, protein is a chain of amino acids. If we break the protein down into the amino acids with our digestion, no problem. Those amino acids are very easy to get into our system, um, easy for us to absorb, um, use for our muscles, everything is great. Gluten, unfortunately, doesn't break down completely. And so instead of having amino acids, which are individual molecules, we have what we call peptides, which may be four um, amino acids bound together. Uh, and the problem with that is it's big. It's hard to get across the membranes of the bowel to get into the system. And um, if it does get inside, um, it kind of looks like a virus or it kind of looks like a bacteria. Our immune system attacks it. Um, so, you know, that's where you get some of this problem with inflammation of the bowel is people who are attacking the um, uh, protein of uh, gluten and looking at it as if it's a foreign object. Um, uh, and this unfortunately spills over and causes the inflama inflammatory reaction of the bowel and the, then the diarrhea occurs. Uh -huh. uh, with uh, intolerance, it's kind of the same process. Um, still, you're having all these uh, extra larger, large uh, um, uh, 
groups of amino acids that are trying to enter the system. Our body's trying to prevent it, and so you get a lot of gassy issues, etc. cetera. Um, the bacteria in the gut eventually do break it down, um, but uh, when they do that, they produce gas, and so you have some discomfort. Um, so um, uh, gluten is something that uh, uh, you have to be a little bit careful for. Again, like I said, even though I'm intolerant, I can handle small quantities of gluten. It doesn't bother me. I can have a sandwich with two slices of bread. I can have a peanut butter sandwich, not a problem. You know, I can do other things. Um, but if I eat large quantities, I'm going to pay. Um, uh, and also, by the way, if you have uh, some sort of an autoimmune condition, um, let's just say you have rheumatoid arthritis, because gluten can sometimes cause an autoimmune uh, type um, uh, reaction, it's usually not a good idea for people with rheumatoid arthritis to eat um, uh, much gluten in their diet. Um, it'll have a tendency to cause a flare of your inflammation. And so um, usually it's not a bad idea to consider going on a gluten-free diet if you're having a lot of inflam inflammation problems. Um, it's something that uh, people with uh, rheumatoid arthritis figure out fairly quickly. Uh, so that's just one more little uh, uh, you know, note about gluten and hope you enjoyed it.